Okay, so the next uh, tutorial we're going to look at here is just for the basics in Photoshop. Okay, so for this project, uh, what we need to do uh, is basically um, first you're going to have to uh, take the photographs. Okay, and again, we're looking for four examples of point, line, and plane each, so four each. Um, step two is you're going to have to transfer those pictures to your computer um, by either emailing them to yourself if you're using your phone um, or, you know, sticking uh, the uh, memory card in the computer and moving them off. Uh, in Photoshop, uh, all we need to do is crop those to 200 by 200 pixels with a resolution of 72. Okay, and then step three is we are going to create a new document that's 1200 by 800 pixels uh, with a resolution of 72. You're going to copy and paste those in, and you're going to use the grid to help you, and then you're going to use the text tool to describe um, how each example activates the space. Okay, let's go to Photoshop. And uh, this is the main uh, Photoshop interface. Uh, we have the toolbar here. Uh, we have the little drop-down menu up here. Um, yours may open a little differently. Let me see if I can make mine, let's see, open up. Yours might open up like this. Um, I don't really like this view. Now since my computer is freezing, what is going on? Uh, there's a phone. Move that, but it won't let me move this. All right, I'm going to go back to how I had it before. Okay. Uh, so for this tutorial, uh, for this exercise, I should say, sorry. Um, basically, we're going to need our layers panel. Okay. So your panels uh, usually open up over on the right hand side. The history panel, say, for example, you have a panel you want to get rid of. Uh, you can just click on the X. Okay? Say I click on all the X's. Oh no, I've messed up. I'm closing everything by accident. I can open them just by going back to Window. And to keep it simple, I really love keeping my workspace simple. I can open up my layers. And uh, you know, maybe we might use history. I'll open Okay, here's my toolbar. Again, say I close my toolbar by accident. I go to Window, all the way on the bottom. It's a little separate for some reason, the toolbar. Okay, so to create a new file, say we're making the file for this project. The file new. All right, gives me, maybe you've made stuff in here before. You might have some defaults here. Uh, but basically, I'm going to go over here to my width, 1200 by 800, and resolution of 72. Okay, the first couple exercises we're going to do uh, are only going to have a resolution of 72. That's just for the screen, screen resolution, uh, not for print. And uh, so if you see that, you're like, hey, what's up with that? Uh, that's why. We're keeping these first few small. I'll call this um, project one. Okay, make sure your color mode is set to RGB, 8-bit, background contents white, and that is fine. So I'm going to hit create. Oh, and it already has the grid on it. Let me turn that off. To put the grid on, show you, you can go to view, show, See, grid's already on. I'm going to turn that off. This little grid is going to help us align things. All right, so now to open up my photographs, I'm going to go to File, Open, and I have them in a little graphic design folder, Point Line Images. Here they are. So I'll do this one, this one. This one, I'll open up a couple. So I'm just holding down control and clicking on the ones I want to open. Open. Okay. 
Okay, so here are my choices. All right, um, let's see, we'll go for this one. Okay, so in the toolbar, the handful of tools that we're gonna need uh, eventually working on these, uh, is the move tool right here. This is the crop tool and the type tool. Okay, we got a bunch of other tools in here. Um, probably won't cover it all. That's kind of more of a digital imaging thing. Uh, but just coming in Photoshop quick and uh, working on a couple things. Okay, so first off is to crop these. So I'm going to go down. Oops, it's right here. Sorry. Crop tool. All right. Also, one thing to note when you're looking at a tool in Photoshop and you see this little tiny. Um, pointer here. That means there's more tools underneath. Okay, if I click on any of these, there's my selection tools, more selection tools, paintbrush, there's a pencil there if you need it, all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to click on the crop tool. Okay. Um, ah, it's already square. That's not what I want. If you look up here in my options tab, options bar for the tool, I want to set this to width and height plus resolution. Okay. Oh, and it already defaults to 200 by 200. Okay. I don't think that's a default. I don't know why I did that. But you would just put in 200, 200 pixels per inch, 72. All right. Also up here, this little delete crop pixels, we don't want that. I'm going to uncheck that. Okay. So now. Um, with your photograph, um, you really want to decide how the focus is um, the main content, say the point in this example, how it's activating the space. So I can just click in here and I'm dragging my mouse up and down. Or do I want a more like kind of like off-centered composition or do I want more centered? You know, I can make these decisions. I don't have much room left or right because I get the Photoshop, you know, void grid space. So we really just have the option in this photograph to move up and down. I mean, I could scale it down a little bit. So it would still keep that 200 by 200 pixels. So I could get a little bit of extra space there. But you don't want to make it too small. Um, and I'm going to kind of off-center it a little bit. For whatever reason, I kind of like that. All right, so I'm going to hit OK. It's a little check mark, or I can hit the Enter button. All right, now it shrinks down. It looks like it shrinks down quite a bit, but if you look up here, I'm only at 12.5%. Okay, so I can zoom in, holding down Control and Plus. I can view it at 100%. Okay. So now, if I want to like adjust the composition anymore, I can click on the Move tool. And because I didn't delete the pixels, I can move it more if I want. You know what? I kind of like that better. OK, so um, that's where we're going to leave that for now. Actually, before we finish up this little tutorial, I'm going to copy and paste this to the next uh, image or to our final image. Okay, so to move this to project one, I'm going to select all by control A. All right, that just selected everything. Now I'm going to go control C, copy. And if I want, I can get that up here too. Um, see like here's select, there's select all, and edit, copy, Oh, and there's paste, control V. All right, so let's go over to here, click in the tab, and control V. Ah, beautiful. There it is. Okay, so the next video, we're going to just look at the grid. Uh, I'll go over um, cropping one more time, just so we have another thing in here, and the type tool.